Ahead of the equity state governorship election, the Independent National Electoral Commission has warned the 18 political parties contesting the poll that it will not accept primaries conducted outside the state. INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu stated this at the first quarterly consultative meeting with political parties held at the Commission's headquarters in Abuja. Yakubu, who called for transparent and rank of free primaries, also expressed worry that none of the political parties have submitted list of aspirants and delegates for their various primaries scheduled by the Commission to hold between 4th to 26th January 2022. Furthermore, he urged the political parties to respect the chosen dates for conducting their primaries as they must conform with the Commission's timetable scheduled and activities. They should also respect their chosen dates for the primaries based on the Commission's timetable and schedule of activities. Already, many parties have rescheduled their primaries several times. Only one political party has indicated the venue for its primaries. I urge you all to do so immediately to enable us work out the detailed plans for monitoring the primaries. All primaries for electing candidates must take place in the constituency where the election will hold as required by law. Professor Yakubu also updated the meeting with preparations for the FCTA Area Council election, drawing the attention of the political parties to the distribution of voters to polling units, resulting to no voter status in 593 polling units on the capital territory. In the next few weeks, the Commission will intensify stakeholder engagements, the monitoring of campaigns by political parties, and preparations for election day activities. On this note, I want to draw your attention to the distribution of voters to polling units in the FCT, particularly the fact that 593 out of 2,822, or 12% of the total, do not have voters. This is because voters fail to take advantage of the expansion of access to transfer to these new polling units. Meanwhile, the chairman of the Interparty Advisory Council, Yagba Jisani, in his remarks called for quick resolution of gray areas in the Electoral Amendments Bill. Once again, make our strident call for the immediate resolution of the unnecessary impasse <coughs> over the Electoral Amendment Bill in the spirio and overriding national interest. The IPAC has persistently suggested that at various fora that the first rational step in the circumstance is for the two apex legislative houses to immediately expunge from the bill the provisions that make it mandatory for political parties to use direct primary elections in the selection of their flag bearers in general elections. Going forward, we have also called on the president to thereafter ascend to the bill without delay. Our the 2023 general election is 396 days away. INEC says over 8 million Nigerians have so far completed their online voters registration as of Monday, January 17, 2023. CNN News.